Six people were arrested after a protest in downtown Atlanta on Saturday. Demonstrators vandalized buildings and lit a police car on fire. The violence followed the killing of an environmental activist during another protest last week, which the rather against the building of a police training facility. Now, authorities claim that that activist was shot and killed after shooting and wounding a state trooper yesterday. On CBS's Face the Nation, Atlanta's mayor said that most of those responsible for Saturday's violence were from outside the state. On the facts, yes. 7 to 13 people have been charged with domestic terrorism. Mm -hmm. Is this terrorism? Is this crime? What is this? Who's behind it? Yeah, I, I, I won't go as far as whatever uh, that representative said, but what I will say is that it is a crime, uh, and that's why they've been charged with the crime. And these crimes... Domestic terrorism. And the, and the crimes range from violence to domestic terrorism to assault and battery and some other things. Um, but yes, it is violent when someone turns to burn down a police car or break out windows or have explosives on them. I don't get into the names. I don't know all the organizations. I'll let y'all decide who did it. I just know they're arrested. And if they come into Atlanta, again to wreak havoc they will be arrested again well some for more on this we want to bring in rebecca scram she's a reporter for our affiliate in uh, atlanta really good to see you can you just remind uh, our audience what led up to the protest on saturday Well, you know, it's interesting. We had a situation here in Metro Atlanta where we have a public safety training center that is in the process of being designed and cleared for some land in DeKalb County, which is right outside the city limits of Atlanta. It is owned by the city of Atlanta. It's the site of a former prison farm uh, that has been around for 100 years. It's probably been abandoned for at least 30 years. Some of the buildings Buildings had caved in and uh, the trees had grown up around it and some uh, protesters, some activists, environmental activists moved in basically without authority and began setting up you know, sort of tree stands, if you will, in the trees to keep them from being cleared and basically started causing some problems with police in the area. Um, from what we understand, at one point, there was a fire set in that camp. And when the firefighters responded, the, the fire truck was vandalized. So there was a problem there. Uh, there, have been an, there have been arrests in that area and it's just become a big problem. So last week, state troopers went in to try to clear some of these camps, and that is when a 26-year-old, uh, according to the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, opened fire shooting a state trooper. That state trooper was seriously injured and still hospitalized, from what we understand. At that point, state troopers returned fire killing this person, and uh, that is what sparked the outrage over the weekend. So Saturday, there was a protest here in downtown Atlanta on the streets, on Peachtree Street, and this happens to be right down the street here is the headquarters of the Atlanta Police Foundation, and that particular building, once the protesters kind of moved through, some of them turned into rioters and started throwing rocks and uh, breaking windows. We understand there was some graffiti on the building. Same with the Wells Fargo here, which we understand Wells Fargo has participated in some of the funding for this new public safety training center. So there were some very targeted uh, acts of vandalism here. And we have six people now arrested um, on charges ranging from domestic terrorism to rioting, to arson. A police patrol cruiser was set on fire during all of this. And so, yeah, that's what we're dealing with. We have those six people now in custody facing some pretty serious charges. Wow. All right, uh, Rebecca Schramm on the scene for us. Rebecca, thank you very much. Appreciate it.